Hey, back to functions. And again, just, you know, pause the video, read the questions here. You get on and you can have like my solutions. You don't have to listen to everything I say. So for this one, this really mathematically just means I'm putting G into F. So I would start off by saying, okay, well, what is my F function? What is my F function? F x is 2x squared, take away 4x plus 5. So that's what it's in terms of x. But now instead of x, I'm going to put in g of x. So g of x is 3 take away x. So instead of x, I'm going to put in 3 take away x. So instead of x, I'm going to write 3 take away x. Instead of x, I'm going to write 3 take away x and plus 5. So if you wanted, you could write, you know, g of x, g of x, and then sub out, but that's, that's where I'm going to start it off. The point is we're putting g into f. Okay, so if you write that out first, you won't really make a mistake because, you know, everything's nice and, um, nice and neat, nice and in line. Okay. So if we do that, we'll end up with, now this is, you know, the mistake people make will be 2 times 3 and 2 times negative x. You'll have to break those brackets out first, and to do that, I just go to the side of the page and I make up a little table like this. This is how I like to break it out. So 3 times 3 is 9. And x squared. So I'm left with 2. And that's going to give me x squared. Take away 6x plus 9. Don't, you know, don't be confused by the order. Squared means times by itself. And you have to do some form of something like this. Okay, don't say 3 squared is 9. And x squared is x squared. Okay, remember to multiply out everything. And take away, oh, we don't have to do this, we can do take away 4 times 3 is 12. And negative 4 times negative x will be plus 4x plus 5. So remember to bring, you know, this term along with you when you're doing your multiplying. And then we're just making out brackets. So 2x squared, take away 12x plus 18, take away 12 plus 4x plus 5. And it's quite handy, we've got the answer, so you know, if you make a mistake, you, know, you can always go back and have a look. You know, so 2x squared, I think I'm quite happy with that. Let me see about my x, and so I've got negative 12x, and I've got plus 4x, so yep, that sounds good to me, negative 8x. And let's check our numbers. So I've got 18, take away 12, that'll give me 6, add on the 5, fantastic, I've got plus 11. Okay. So that one really... Not a lot in it, but very easy to make a little mistake. So just be careful when you're doing that. And for that, you're only getting two marks, quite a lot of working for two marks, but you're getting your first mark for this line where you correctly put g of x in, and your second mark is for the final answer, really. So yeah, still one mark available for knowing just to substitute, so don't worry if you make a small mistake there. The next one, um, express it in the form like this, so that's your complete the square. So I think I'll put that over here. So with complete the square, the first thing you need to do is get rid of the number in front of your x squared. So we need to get a common factor out, 2. So x squared, take away 4x plus 11. And then our rule is that we half this term. So keep the 2 where it is. We half that term and we do a squared. Now, all that means is, okay, if I was to break that bracket out, I would still have exactly what I've got up here. Okay, that's exactly the same. So I do, I'll do a bit over here. If I do x take away 2, x take away 2, I've got x squared, take away 2x, take away 2x, and 4. So if I times that by 2 out of 2x squared, out of negative 8x, yeah, so I've still got this bit. But that's where this last bit comes in. I've also generated this 4, which I'm trying to get rid of. So... We also need to remember we do this to take away the thing we don't want. We don't want this negative 2 squared times by 2. Okay, So that negive 2 squared times by 2, so 4 times be 8. We don't want that. Okay? So I need to take away 8 to get me back to where I started life off. Negative 2 squared, and that's go plus 3. So completing the square, take your common factor out, half this number, and make sure you take away, you're always taking away, that should just sit there. Maybe this number's a negative, maybe there's a double negative, whatever, I don't know. Okay, but you're taking away this negative 2 squared times by this. 
check you've done it right, multiply the bracket out, you'll be right back to where you started. So again, for three marks, you can actually check you've done it right, which is excellent. So your marks for that one, uh, if you identify the common factor, you're getting a tick. When you start to complete the square, you're getting a tick. So this bit here, you get a tick, and then your plus D, you get a tick. So not bad again, you know, for you think about, you know, what you have to do to get one mark, just take a common factor. So completing the square, very good. And don't forget, that just means your turning point is two, three. We change the sign and that stays the same. So I was asking what the turning point is. Turning point is two, three. It's a positive x squared, so it's going to be a happy one. So it's doing something like that. Two, three is your turning point. That's why we complete the square. Okie dokies.